All right, so I'm gonna taking off this airbox. So there's three uh, three bolts, one on this side, one on the other side, and one up on top. That's a five millimeter Allen. You need to disconnect the uh, the wires harness uh, way here to to disconnect these. It's uh, the the tab to disconnect them is actually on the bottom of this uh, connector. It's not the top, so it's on the bottom. You have to push it in, uh, push the connector in, and pull it out. Other thing you need to do is you need to loosen up the uh, the manifold uh, boot here. So this is the airbox, the boot goes to the throttle body, right? So you need to loosen up the the four uh, hose clamps on there. That's probably the hardest part of taking this thing off. It's just removing those those uh, or loosening those up because the t space here is kind of tight. It's so so I have to use a, a you know a, a Allen key, uh, four millimeters, or just five. I think it's four um, to get into those. And uh, once everything's disconnected, it should pull up. Uh, so, so you need to loosen up. Once you uh, loosen up the those uh, hose clamps, uh, the manifold is still kind of stuck on there. So you have to kind of pull on on them and wiggle around a little bit. All three of them. So you got all three off. Let's see, what else is? I feel some resistance somewhere. So that means something might still be connected underneath that I don't know of. Uh, oh yeah, there is. I see a hose down in there. There's actually a hose I can see all the way down in there at the very bottom. I believe that's the. Uh, I think that's the crankcase breather, or the or the valve uh, valve cover breather. So probably needs a little uh, pliers to unclip that hose clamp that's on there. That's down there. Let's see. Oh man, this is. Oh, this is a tight fit. So keep my hands down in there. I'm not. So hose clamp. Connector down there in there. Let's try to clip that. Ah, okay, got it out. So this thing should pop right off after that. Let's see, it's has to feel Oh, another hose over here on this side. So on this side right here, where's my, oh, here's my pliers. Another hose, so this might be the crankcase breather right here. One, I think one's a crankcase breather and the other one's a, um, and the other one is a, um, a valve. Uh, maybe it's a, a valve, uh, Air injector. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so one right here and one over here. All right, so that's the airbox. They're kind of heavy. All right, so there's the. Let's see. So there's the throttle body, right? The three throttle bodies. There you go. So this was one hose clamp right here and another hose right here. That's what's connecting it. So let's look at this. It looks like this one is on the valve cover. And this one is... Okay, so I think this one's the uh, the air injectors. This one right here, this big one. So because it has a... Uh, it actually has a, a valve connected to right here. Uh, so I believe that's what that one is. Air injection. So throttle body. Then fuel injector is actually right, right underneath here. I can see it from from my angle. I can see it from right in there, and you see the fuel injector. Um, all right. So, and if you follow this hose here, this is the uh, this is the that connected to the charcoal canister. If you have that, you know this this is a California bike, so they have a charcoal canister. Uh, but anyways, there's three vacuum lines here uh, that connects down to the throttle body. Uh, one right here. One right here, and this one actually, this one over here actually splits into two, uh, right here and over down right here. So those are your vacuum lines. So if you ever need to uh, uh, sync sync the throttle bodies, that's that's where you're gonna have to connect uh, your uh, your vacuum gauge to sync the throttle bodies.